Hello everybody and welcome back to another CB Showtunes tutorial. Now today's tutorial, I was going to actually start working on the camera script, but I realized that a couple weeks ago we actually had already created a really, really good camera script. And I was thinking about designing a new one and I realized that that one was probably sufficient enough for this. So this specific video is going to be about fixing a lot of the issues as well as importing that script. Now, the easiest way to be able to get that script is to go over to my YouTube channel and check out Third Person char Character Camera. And of course, you'll be able to get the script, I believe, inside the description below. If not, I'll be uh, happy to post that for you guys. Uh, just let me know about it. Um, but for now, let's go ahead and actually get this camera dropped on here. So once you have the script, you're going to simply drag and drop the camera controller right on top of there. Uh, you're also going to need to uh, create an empty object underneath your player called Create Empty. And then you're going to rename it Camera Center Point. You can drop this Camera Center Point right on your head of the character. So, you know, wherever you feel comfortable. And then you're going to drop your camera as a child of that Camera Center Point. Make sure that your camera is tagged as Main Camera. And of course, you're just going to drag and drop that camera control script there. Uh, your target is going to change based on whichever object um, it is. So if it's going to be a vehicle, you're going to change the target. You're also going to be changing the offset value of your Z position. So just keep that in mind whenever you're setting this up. Um, but let's go ahead and grab our camera center point, And this is going to be our target. Now we also want to set up our offset. So the only value that's actually different um, from positive and negative is your Z value. So just keep that in mind here. Uh, but we want to be able to set this up to a distance of 3, I think. Uh, transition time, I think, is pretty cool. But we're going to go ahead and just press play and see what happens. So here we go. All right, so as you can see, our camera is working properly. The moment we drag it in, it's about three units away. We can walk forward. Uh, of course, if we just move our mouse, we'll be able to actually have that transition. And of course, we'll be able to run and of course hop and all that cool stuff. Along with it, we can rotate around a character, uh, that sort of fun stuff. But there's one other thing. If you're getting errors right now, it's because you did not get the um, project settings for your input setup. So uh, make sure that you do go over to edit, go over to project settings, open that menu up and find inputs. And then from there, you're going to set up these three variables at the bottom. So look, turn and aim. So look is going to be your joystick axis. You can simply go over to Google, uh, look up um, PS4 axis mapping, and you'll be able to find pictures of that. Uh, you need to make sure to change the type, the joystick axis, and of course the axis name. Then of course you're gonna set up the turn value as well. Make sure that you set these gravity dead and sensitivity. Uh, and of course you have the aim value which is going to still be using the key or mouse button, but you're going to just change the joy, alt positive, and the um, positive button. So mouse one and joystick button six, change it to aim, and you'll be all good. And that's pretty much all you really need for your camera script. Uh, so if you wanna play around with that, of course, make sure that you um, Take a look at that previous tutorial as well to be able to learn how this works. It is a lot of data that's going on here, uh, but it's actually very, very fun to uh, play with. So just keep that in mind. All right. Uh, so another thing that I did work on inside of this was the jump issue. So whenever I was playing around with this earlier, uh, I found out that if you walk up to an object and then you held down the space bar, you would actually just run up the wall. Like, I mean, literally run up the wall. So uh, if I grab this object right here, we're going to actually uh, just drag this up a little bit. And of course, let's go ahead and just scale it out. So if I actually press play right now and we actually run into this wall and let's go ahead and just hold down the space bar. As you can see, it's no longer doing that issue or if we keep pressing space bars, it's not going to be uh, doing that uh, problem. Uh, we do stick to the wall for a second and then slide down, but that's okay. I sort of like that effect. If you don't, just make sure to leave the comment, se the comment section below, uh, and I'll get to you as soon as possible. Um, but let's go ahead and go over here to the script. So how to fix that issue 
is you're going to come over here to your jump function and you're going to find where it literally says um, so rb dot velocity is equal to a vector three dot zero now what this simple script allows us to be able to do is it's going to remove the current velocity of our character so our character say for instance uh, inside the scene is going five impulses up right which is a fast version of our rigid body function so it's going to be shooting our character up inside the air but if we reset the value whenever we actually have this happen it's going to reset what our hop value or our normal is or our velocity is so instead of us increasing five multiplied by five or squared by five it's going to basically set it back over to five squared by one or five multiplied by one this way it just makes it a whole lot easier uh, and it doesn't actually increase your velocity over time now if that's not what you want if you want the velocity to increase just remove that and you'll be good but that's just what i wanted now another thing that I found out is that uh, if we use the void on collision enter, so whenever we actually land on the, or if we actually use the collider function, so on collision enter or on collision stay, we end up having this issue to where our character will just climb up walls because our character is constantly going to be colliding with the object, right? So for me to be able to fix this issue, I created this really, really cool um, sphere collider. Uh, this is the trigger, and it's set to the foot of our character. So as you can see, uh, it's literally this radius of a point 0.1, and it's dropped to the foot of the character. And what this does is, it, since it's set to a trigger, if we head back over to the script, you can see that we now have this if is falling. So we're going to be checking if we're falling, and um, if our tag is not equal to player. So we're making sure that whenever we actually run into this object right here, um, like see how this trigger is constantly overlapping this trigger? We wanna be able to make sure that this is not going to be affecting this. So we're gonna be making sure that our player tag is not going to be affecting it. Then we're gonna be setting is falling is equal to false. So anytime that this object is touching something that is not the ground or that's not the player, then it's going to say that we're not falling anymore. So that's a super cool function and allows us to be able to uh, actually land without having any issues. So uh, that's the reason why I added that there. All right, and that's pretty much it for this specific tutorial. Now the next week, we're going to actually start working on the animation side of, of our character to be able to add in that uh, motion. Because uh, obviously we want to be able to see our character move around, look cool while doing it because that's what we actually do with characters. We actually want that awesomeness. Uh, so just keep that in mind. We're going to be adding that inside there. It's going to be super fun. And of course, if you guys like this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, check out some of the videos. If you have any questions, make sure to leave a, a comment inside the comment section below. I'll, ha I'll be happy to get to those as soon as possible. And of course, I'll see you guys next time.